Hi there and welcome back to Elements for Bloggers. I'm Jenny and in this video you'll learn how to resize multiple images at once to save time. Let's get started. Alright, to resize multiple images at once you don't need to open them all up in the editor. All you need to do is create a folder that has all the images you want to resize and we'll let Elements do the hard work for us. So you'll see we're here on my desktop and I have a folder that has demo photos. Now this just has a handful in here. Now if we look at the information for one of these photos, you'll see that this is 2520 pixels by 3770 pixels tall. That is a huge photo. Not only is it too big in size, but it also takes up a lot of room. The file size on this is 3.2 megabytes. Now you could let WordPress do your resizing for you, but the problem is you'll still have problems with your page loading too slow, and eventually the size of all these photos will add up and your whole site will end up going slower. So in order to prevent that, let's go ahead and resize all these images before we upload them to the blog. I'm gonna close out of that and open up the editor. As I said, we don't even need to open these files here. We're just gonna take a couple of quick shortcuts. We'll go up to File, and then process multiple files and here we'll have a dialog box that pops up. We'll just be able to walk through this step by step and you will be just moments away from resizing your own photos. So the first thing you need to do is pick which folder you want this to resize from and I'm going to go back to my desktop here and this is the folder I want so I will choose this one and my destination folder I have not created one yet, so what I need to do is I'm going to make a new folder here, and I'll call this one Resized Images. Easy enough. Let me go back up a level, and I'm going to choose that photo, Resized Images, to output my photos to. Now just in case you're not super familiar with your computer, it might be easier for you to make both folders before you get started with this. That way you won't get confused in the process. Now I'm going to go down here to resize images and I will click this box. And here we're going to choose which dimension we want these resized to. If you want the width um, specified or the height. For my blog I know that my content column is 620 pixels wide. So I'm going to go ahead and resize this to 620 pixels. And you can pick the resolution on this if you want to. 150 is pretty high. Um, you know, for web, it's definitely not that necessary. 72 pixels is standard for what resolution your screen probably has on your computer. What I'm going to do is take a shortcut here. I'm going to leave this resolution as it is, but I'm going to convert all my files to a JPEG high quality. You remember in our last video we talked about the different qualities of JPEG and how you start to lose serious quality when you get down into the low or medium range, but high quality is, is probably sufficient. It makes a much smaller file than the maximum quality, but you still have great quality for just looking at it on a screen. And you'll want to also make sure that this little box here, Constrained Proportions, is checked because you do not want it to just resize the width of your image and not also resize the height. You want it to keep the same proportions as it was when it came off your camera. So I have all of my settings set here. I'm simply going to click OK. And it looks like everything's finished now. So I'm going to just minimize this so we can take a look at what I have. Now I'll go over to my resized images folder and here are all my resized images. And you'll notice that this says now it has the same name as the original file name that it was. When you're doing this for your blog, you'll want to give these intelligent names more like, you know, the title of what's in the picture for your SEO purposes. But we'll just take a look at this file and get the info on it. This is only 422 kilobytes on the disk, so this is a little bit less than 10 times smaller than the original file we started with. So if I open it up, this is the actual size that the photo is going to be on my computer and on my blog as well. So in this super quick video, we just learned how to resize multiple photos at once with Photoshop Elements. 
So today's assignment is to make a folder that has several of the photos you want to resize in it, and go ahead and make another folder that's going to be the destination folder for your new outputted files at the same time. And then use the process multiple files function, and remember that you can find that under the file menu, to resize your photos. And next time on Photoshop Elements for Bloggers, we'll learn basic color correction. So we're starting to actually edit the images themselves. So if you have any questions about this short lesson today, please let me know in the comments, and otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks, bye-bye.